Sometimes, I, but a lot of times, yeah, go so ahead. So let's get started, and we can see now that summer months is, is kind of... It's it's hot. People yeah, want to get out of the side and out. get out. So with that in mind, <laughs> weekend will not meet in July or August. <laughs> <laughs> because it's, it's, you get people on vacation, and August is still hot, vacations, and but and people not getting ready for school, so yeah. we decided that uh, July and August uh, we get some few people. But welcome everybody. And Catherine needs to leave early, so yeah. uh, can tell us what's going on in the city right now. Oh, well, you all know, and I don't know how many of you were there, that the new library opened officially Saturday. And it is absolutely first class. It's one of the best things the city's done. It's really a fine library. I encourage everybody to go down and check it out because um, I, I, I'm blown away with the inside of it and everything that's there. And there's something for everybody. There's something for everybody there. The children's area is on the first floor and it's just, it's incredible. And yes, they still have books, <laughs> but <laughs> they have a lot of other things too and it's really high tech. So I just encourage you to go and to see that. That's one of the biggest things going on in, um, in the city, I guess, this week, is to get that open and to get, yeah, going in, and to get it, you know, going. Um, I'm trying to think, we're working on the, we're gonna, we're gonna have a bond election in November, and we're still finalizing. We had a bond committee, and I'll stand up so I can see. We're gonna have a bond committee. We did have a bond committee who made the recommendations. Um, I don't know the final number, we're still working, and that will be decided between now and August, uh, I think it's the first week in August is the deadline to call that bond election. So as far as I can tell you right now, it'll be under 200 million. It'll be under 200, but I'm not sure about the figure, how far under, but it will be under. What was it when the bond committee was deciding it? Um, I should have brought that in with me. Because I, I can't. Because it. you've added to it, right? We put another year on, five years. Another year. Yeah, another, because we had the capacity to do it, and we had some things that we felt were really important. We're going to talk about those tomorrow. And some of the figures on the things the bond committee recommended went up. So that figure is a little bit off, but it's not. I'm trying to remember how much, but it wasn't a great deal because a lot of those things that they recommended, the price went up. And that's in the new, it will be coming up in the final, final deal. Yeah. So it, I, I think they did a good job. We've got a lot of streets. we got some things for the fire department. Uh, a couple of buildings that are going to be renovated. And is there, is there a new one in there? I don't think there's a, we're finishing up the new building at Viridian for the fire department, which is going to be very nice. And that's really going to help a lot because Viridian is growing gangbusters. It's just over, they just can't believe it. And uh, we need that fire department out there. And I know a lot of people are looking forward to that opening. I'm trying to think of some other um, things that are going on. Um, you know what's happening uh, with um, the entertainment district. Uh, everybody, everybody's interested in that. Uh, and um, the um, Texas Live is going to open in August. And it's going to really be really incredible but the hotel is in november well no the hotel's a year away yeah oh, oh the hotel's a little over a year away uh there's so there's what's a, opening what, what texas is, live the venue the inter entertainment the park. entertainment venue oh, okay. texas live which is huge <coughs> it's right by the new ballpark okay. it's right there on randall mill okay. and you can see it now and it will be open and it's going to have restaurants and entertainment um, that's where you've probably seen some of uh, it's been on TV the only reason I'm mentioning his restaurant but Troy Aikman's opening a restaurant in Texas Live there's a lot of outside activity for family entertainment family and restaurant entertainment it's really good it's the biggest one they've built Texas Live is a concept uh, that is being built by the Cordish company from Baltimore and they have one in Kansas City St. Louis LA? Uh, don't they have one close to the ballpark in Baltimore? 
Oh yeah, they have yeah, one in Baltimore. Right, right, oh yeah, yeah for right sure. There by, yeah, and so. I think there's one in. Um, they've got about six across the United States, but they're all built in conjunction with baseball parks. When is it scheduled? August, and I don't know the exact date, but it's in August, and I, I'm sure they'll the date will be posted. Well, maybe maybe not every feature will open in August. Is yes, that, they will. it will open <laughs> completely in August. Okay. As far as I was told, and I, I was only out there when they were, but they're, they're, they've got crews out there almost 24-7. They're working two shifts seven days a week. to go out there for Yeah. So it's really going to be nice. It's going to be um, great entertainment, all kinds of things. I mean, they're really a quality, quality builder. And it's going to bring a lot of tourism in here. What are they going to do about the traffic? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> The same thing we're going to do about traffic all over town. We're going to control it, hopefully. Well, are you going to have shuttle services or what? Well, that will be, there. for that, oh, we are looking, since you asked about that, we are looking at um, putting out, this, in fact, this month, there's going to be, we decided last, two weeks ago, an RFP to put autonomous vehicles on the road in the entertainment district. And so... These, now what they will look like, I'm not going to tell you, but you've written, you've seen the Milo. That's an autonomous vehicle that runs on a dedicated path. We're looking at putting them on the street. So we'll see about those. And no, there will be parking. There's going to be a parking garage built. Um, it's, it's going to be just like going to the ball game, going to everything out there. You know, the parking, the getting there and getting around. But yes, there will be. There's always congestion when you got, you know, if you got 100,000 people coming in, there's going to be. But I think we've managed extremely well because people, we haven't had a lot of complaints about getting out of ball game. Even when we've had two ball games going on at the same time, we have had football and baseball going on at the same time. And you know, because <laughs> those guys help do it. I mean, they command and they watch that traffic. And we have high tech. Um, command centers that the signalization and, and controlling the traffic around that area. So, yes. When were the 360 interchange? 360, 30? Oh, that's still about a year and a half, two years yeah, away. That'll help. Some of it will open before, it, but for it to all be open. No, TxDOT has said they will open some of it, but it'll, it's still a year and a half to two years away. Now, is Texas Live open all the time, like if yeah. you wanted to avoid traffic, you can go a Wednesday in November. <laughs> It'll be open all the time. <laughs> okay. If it's like the one in, she mentioned St. Louis, yeah. I've been to the I one in St. Too. Louis. Yeah. And that was fabulous. It is. Um, and because we went down there and uh, before the ball game. Yeah. Enjoyed the area, the entertainment. It was beautiful. And then later on, uh, went to the ball game and yeah. everything, and it was just it, it just matched so it just much. Goes together. It worked together. It, it was a great experience. Well, I went to St. Louis, and there wasn't a ball game, and there were still people all there eating, enjoying the restaurants. You know, there wasn't, a, and they did have some entertainment coming. We didn't see it, but yeah, it's open. It's it's a venue that's open all the time, and that's what's gonna. We you know remember years ago how we talked about we needed. Um, a year-round year -round venue, well, guess what? We've got it. It's coming. So we've got a lot going on out there, and I think it's good for our whole city. I think the library is awesome for our city, and I hope everybody will get there. Um, I'm trying to think. You know that they've torn down all that stuff downtown Arlington. Well, that's going to be student housing on both of those blocks. Yeah. It's going to be what? Student, student housing. Student housing. Where Mykoski's office was on Mesquite and Abram, and the two blocks that go back to, um, Elm. I guess that's UTA Boulevard. Uh, yeah, that's all student housing, two full blocks. That's where Dan Mead's office was. Well, yeah. okay. So, um, anybody have anything? And you said uh, Viridian is <coughs> expanding. Yes. And the people that own Burns, Burns Fort sold that land. Was yes. that to Viridian? Yes. To Viridian. Well, I think he's got it now because, um, I think they're getting, I don't know if they're going to build around it, but yes, he has control of it. I'm pretty sure of that. Do you know what's going to happen to Burns Fort? I always thought that would be a great It'll place to. It'll stay there. Yeah. It'll stay. He won't tear it. Well, I don't know if you know Bob Kimball or not, but 
He will protect okay. everything. According to the yeah. information I read, is part of the sale condition was yeah. that they would not destroy no, the fort. You're not going to destroy that. that was, no, no, that no. Was part of the condition. Well, there's but nothing there, but the spot. Yeah. The spot. Yeah. The, the spring. Yeah. The, the, the spring. But the, 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 they're yeah. building so fast out there, yeah. they can't keep up. They're It'd be nice if they rebuilt Bird's Fort while they're. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> He's done so many other wonderful things. Yeah. It's the most fantastic. It's probably one of the premier planned developments, maybe even in the nation. It really is. He gets awards all the time because it's so well done and really, really an amenity. And he's going to build that town center when he gets enough rooftops. You're still on the regional transportation yes. committee. Yes, yes. Saw the article in today's paper, but I couldn't decide all the ro roads and things that the, the the map was so small that it was almost useless. Oh, about the twenty forty yeah. Uh, plan, yeah, yeah. Is there uh, a way that we can get copies of? of the, oh sure. Did you go to Cog? I the did. Cog website. No, it's I all didn't. I'll just just wait. yeah. Go I'll to just, to um, NTCOG whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And and it'll be, it's all in there. But I'm sure you, I know you can't. In fact, I tell you what, we I, go to City Hall. That I brought back 50 copies of their report in a big report that's printed in color and you can really read it. I, in, fact, in fact, when I got here tonight, I thought, boy, I wish I'd brought those because you all would be interested in that. Right. But they're at City Hall and at the chamber. And if you'll just run by there, they'll give you all the copies you want of it. Okay. And you could maybe. In September, pass now. <laughs> so, but it's it's exciting what's planned for the region and the connection with the region, and we're really really moving forward on our transportation, our economic development every day, and trying to keep up and make this the best city for all of us to live in. I did notice in that newspaper it still has managed and toll lanes included in the plan, according to the newspaper. I'm hoping it works. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, the, the problem.